Hello everybody and welcome to the part numero 30 aka 30 of Let's Play Stardew Valley. We're here, it's a lucky day, it's raining and I can't believe it's already part 30. Everything is going by so fast, it's a lucky day. It's also Elliot's birthday and we got the perfect gift for him yesterday, so I'm really happy for that. Uh, things I want to do today. Since it's a lucky day, I kind of want to go to the mine, see if I can find the mushroom level. Because we have never found it yet in this series and I want to show you guys what that is all about. I don't know if we're going to be able to find it, but we could give it a go. I think we started upgrading our barn yesterday. Okay. This has happened before. <laughs> uh, for some reason, Robin sometimes doesn't show up to work on what he told her to work on. But hopefully, in when the barn is ready, the barn will be ready. Even if Robin's not here working on it. So, that's my hope. If not, the game is broken, which is fantastic news. Uh, let's go collect the mushrooms. It's been a while since the last played here in the save file. I've been playing on my own. What is wrong with my inventory? This is a mess. I don't like any of this. <laughs> so disorganized. I've been... Well, I've been doing the community center in one year challenge. I completed it finally because I, I tried it many times and I only now I succeeded. So that was a uh, a good achievement for me. And after all that rushing, now all I want to do is just chill. <laughs> we have time. We have all the time. The block show is ready. Fantastic news. Everything else is growing. We can plant some other things. And one of you guys told me that I should buy more cranberries, which I agree with. Get out of here, weed. I don't need you. Hmm. Let's see, I could totally expand uh, downwards, and I don't think I made chests for the crops, huh? We're having a few issues with storage, which I kind of want to fix in this part. The only problem is that we don't have much wood in the forest. I kind of took everything down, <laughs> and now we need to wait for the trees to grow again, which they will grow, it's just it might take some time, and I, I don't have time. I have so many things to craft. Oh, let's see. Just gonna say hi to these guys. Some of you left me some duck names, which I really appreciate. Thank you. We're probably gonna get more ducks, even maybe use incubator to get another duck, which is the easiest way instead of buying one from Marnie. It's just cheaper, you know? So we might get some more ducks and I'll use the names. So let's see. Elliot is probably at his cabin. Will he come out? as it's raining. I feel like I need to check his casual because I'm a little worried it's raining. I don't think he leaves the house when it's raining unless his casual is a bit different during fall but I, I don't know if I buy it. Yeah, if it's raining, he stays inside his house the entire day and I don't think I have enough hearts with him to come inside his house. Are you kidding me? Oh wait, maybe I do. Wait. Oh my god. Did I say hi to my cat? Where's my cat? <laughs> Where are you? There you are. Okay, let's see if we can find Elliot. We're gonna need to go to his house and hopefully we can get in. Hopefully it's only two hearts we need and not flipping free. Uh, I should sell a few things actually before I go. Let me sell that and I kind of want to keep this but I don't know if I have storage for that. I can put it over here temporarily. Sure, and all the other crap that I don't need. <laughs> Just shove it all in, and now we go. Oh, I should bring some food. If I'm going to the mines, we better be ready. And I don't have any food. <laughs> um, let's just make some, some field snacks. And now we go. Now we're really going, guys. It's also traveling card day. Mm, will she have anything good for me? Am I looking for anything in specific? I don't know. I don't know if I am. I got really lucky that other day. We got rabbit's food, duck feather. Like, I'm a happy champ. <laughs> I think I got all I wanted. Unless she has a truffle, but I don't think she's gonna have it. Any jobs? Do I have any jobs to do? Uh, not 
one with a timer. So I guess it is indeed a very chill part. We got some cookies. We got some worms. With a star. Okay. Elliot, you're the star of the show today. We have a cutscene. Oh, what a surprise. A lot of you come in. I'm already inside, Elliot. Welcome to my humble well shack. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a writer. Have I told you that? That's why I live out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. Everyone back home said I was nuts, that I could never make it as a writer. Can you believe it? They said for every successful outer, there's 1,000 who fail miserably. Such pessimism. It's sickening. I can see it in your eyes. You believe in me, Laudia. You got that spark. I do? Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. Huh. The question, what kind of books do you like, Claudia? Ooh. I like a good mystery or a good romance. I haven't read in a lot of sci-fis. Um, can you do a mystery? Can you give me a good mystery, Mr. Elliot? Oh god, the phone is always ringing. <laughs> It's only when I'm recording, only when I'm recording. It's frustrating me. You know what's worse about this? Is that I can't hang up the call. The button is broken. <laughs> Cause when you sign for a phone company, they sometimes give you these phones to use at home. Maybe they make the button break easily so that you can't avoid their calls <laughs> for product placements. It's very smart, but it's getting really annoying because I can't stop the phone from ringing. Anyways, I'm done with my conspiracy. Mystery, huh? It's definitely an exciting genre. I'll remember that. Okay. Well, enough talk about me. Hmm, you probably know a lot about plants, don't you? Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. Sure, even though that's more of my... Dad's apartment, <laughs> I would say. Hello, Elliot. Here's a little gift. I hope you love it. Four hearts. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. I'm glad you liked it. Thanks for talking with me. I'll be thinking about what you said. Okay. Hmm. Can we snoop around? Elliot's work desk is covered in notes and crumpled papers. He has a little painting. It's a painting by Leah. He has a piano. Can I, can I play? Can I, can I play? Can, no, I cannot play. <laughs> a blank book. Is that the book he's writing? Kind of hard that he keeps it on the floor. Uh, what's wrong over here? It's kind of weird what's going on. It looks like I like this trying to grow a bonsai tree. It looks cool so far. Why can't I have a bonsai tree? So disappointed. <laughs> oh, hello, crab pots. I'm sorry, I don't want to take care of you today. I'm very busy. Uh, I want to go to the mines. That I do. And we have some geo to open. Let's go to Clint. I guess we're skipping the traveling car today. I'm sure she has nothing good. I'm sure. <laughs> Watch me regret it later on. Okay, Clint, is that new? I don't know. No, it's not. That's probably not new either. Th that's definitely not new. And is that new? It's pricey. It's new. Um, let me go sell those. Let me go sell what I don't need, which is this. I need all the money I can get to upgrade my coop. Gunter, I have something else. Maybe we could start organizing the museum a little bit. What do you think? Should I? Should I? Uh, let's start by making a rainbow. Can I go down? Okay. Let me see here. We have the emeralds. Uh, here, we're gonna have the green gems over on this side. Uh, over here, we could start with maybe yellow. Yellow, yellow. Here. Um, yellow, yellow. We have the tiger eye, which is kind of orangey. The orange goes in the middle. And then we're gonna have the red over here. And should we end it with pink? I kind of have a system to organize museum, but I never completed a collection fully, so 
I don't know if this is gonna work till the very end, but it's just what I like to follow. Well, I like to do a rainbow. <laughs> I like to make it fun. Okay, blue is gonna be on this corner. This is little artifacts that I want to keep apart. This stays at the bottom. This stays over here. Down here. Okay, we're gonna start with the purple on this side, the blue on the other side. Blue. Oh my god, this is so annoying. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Oh look, we got the full green going. Uh, more blue and more blue stuff and... Is this it? I haven't found much purple stuff. That's sad. Huh, maybe if we have too much red stuff, I'll move the pink down to here and the purple will be in the middle. Uh, down here, I like to keep my fossils and all these bones, these bone parts. Over here, these free spots over here, I keep the dolls in because we only have free dolls. Over here, I like to put like the, um, the stuff that in the old days belonged to other civilizations and maybe to the dwarf people. I like this stuff over here. Uh, I don't know where to put this. I'll put it over there. This is a part which I'll put down here or up here. I don't know. Uh, this goes down here. Okay, sure. I'll organize the rest better some other day. This seems good enough for me. We're gonna have a rainbow eventually. And we have some books. Let's read those. Uh, a study on diamond yields. After years of research in the mines, I believe I learned something about diamond frequency. My research evolved only its stones that are scattered around the mines, the ones that are broken with the pickaxe. Mineral yields from other sources require more research. Diamonds seem to only form at mine level 50 or greater. At level 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. After level 50, the frequency of diamond formation seems to increase about 0 0.000016 per level. Quite a rare gem. Uh, Mr. Jasper? Jasper is a cool name. Uh, what about you? Brewmaster's Guide. Ah, oh, to brew. The rich smell of yeast wafting through a sadder loft. The floral overtones of freshly cut hops on a winter's eve. But I digress. You are probably more interested in the practical side of brewing. To brew, you will need a keg. I'll leave it up to you to devise blueprints for a keg. I already got that covered. I f no, actually, I don't. Do I? <laughs> I, I don't know. I... I... It's been a long time. Kegs can be used to make several kinds of product. If vegetables are placed inside, a keg will produce juice. Juice takes the least amount of time to brew. If we displace in keg, it will produce beer. Beer takes a while to brew, but it's quite profitable. Placing hops in a keg will produce the loved pale ale, which Pam wants desperately. Place fruit in a keg to make wine. Wine takes the longest of all to make, but a wine made from the finest fruit is worth quite a bit. Yes, it is. Be patient with your keg. You'll know it's finished when it's perfectly still and only drink in moderation or you'll surely regret it. Nah. Mysteries of the dwarves. Ooh, this is so interesting. The dwarves call themselves Smulwanu, which translates to sky people, an odd name for the group that lives deep underground, isn't it? Isn't it? Are they aliens? Uh, another mystery of the dwarves is the advanced technology they supposedly possess. Evidence such as this has led me, despite the ridicule of my colleagues, to, propo to propose a new theory. I believe the dwarves are the remains of a once advanced civilization whose interplanetary vehicle crashed on this planet long ago. I propose that this dwarfish spaceship bore down deep underground and over time the dwarves became adapted to their new underground environment. My colleagues ask why didn't they come above ground and live on surface? Perhaps their, all, their old planet had a thicker atmosphere that protected them from stellar radiation and they simply could not survive in our sunlight. That would explain why they only surface at night to take what they need from our houses. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Jasper, Mr. Jasper, you're a very smart man. Um, this is a really cool theory and one that I actually believe in. Uh, hopefully, as we go on with the series, we'll explore this a bit more. But the theory is that the dwarves are aliens that crashed 
on our planet and when they crash they crash underground and they lived underground in our world and you can see from the museum that we have found a few artifacts that belong to dwarves that seem quite advanced like we have here a computer and this is an artifact it's old so considering that they had this a long time ago it's surely impressive. And the last book highlights from the Book of Yoba. Before time, there was only the endless golden light. The light called out to itself Yoba. Yoba wanted more. Yoba swirled the golden light into a vortex. Yoba swirled and swirled until a hole formed in the eye of the vortex. From the soul sprung a seed. Yoba smote smooth the golden light yoba smoothed and smoothed and the light became soil into the soil yoba planted the seed the seed sprouted and behold the vine sprung skyward twisting and probing casting a, a wreathing shadow onto the golden void after 11 days the vine bore fruit yoba with knowing wisdom peeled the tough skin of the fruit and saw that the world was inside and so that is how the world came to be so this is the religion we have in game the yoba Oh god, and now my voice is so tired. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to the mines. Let's see if we get lucky here. My inventory is already pretty full. Uh, but let's go to maybe level... Well, we can only get level 100. So that will be it. Um, let's see if we can go deeper than this. Because the deeper we go, the more likely we will find the mushroom level. Come on. There it is. Hello, slimy friend. There's already a bat coming. I love me some bats, but I have to go. So sorry. No, you like to get too close for comfort. <laughs> no, friend. Okay, we found leather. Now, on this level, usually... Leather tends to be up here. But if it's not here... It's probably over to our right. I don't know, I've been playing so much Sardew Valley that it's like... I kind of know what I'm doing. I think. Okay, found it. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How dare you! Let me eat this plum. I got a mega bomb! Heck yeah. Okay, where is the ladder? There it is. Okay. Okay. Oh. We're going deep down. No, slime. Let me... Let me just break these. Come here. Ugh. Where is the ladder? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes all you gotta do is ask nicely. And you shall receive. Let me eat the other blackberry. Okay. Let me grab this. I could use my mega bomb. But nah. Whatever. I can do this on my own. Oh, is this layout that goes over to this side? Okay, the leather usually is over here somewhere i'm getting tired time to eat the cookies come on <laughs> at least let me get to the next level so that i can determine that the mushroom level is not gonna be here tomorrow please please oh there is leather <laughs> well thanks that's very nice of you okay <gasps> it's it's the mushroom level okay this is really deep down so we're just gonna have this go at it. We're gonna get all the mushrooms we can get. You can tell it's mushroom level if you can see green lights and yellow sometimes. Oh, what a magical place. If you keep going to this level multiple times, you can actually make a lot of money just in one day. And I should probably try to find the leather down just because I, I want to get level 110. Oh, there we go, we found leather. That's a lot of gold. Oh, Ruby. Uh, no, don't want that. I want this. So much gold. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I'm gonna drop the solar essence. Oh, hello, shadow guy. Wait a second, let me just mine all of this and then I'll, I'll come to you, okay? Be patient. Ah! <laughs> the sword 
betrayed me. Okay, no, bad, no. Let me just get this and then I'll leave, okay? Just wanna see if there's more mushrooms. There is, of course there is. Okay. Ah! <laughs> uh, should I just leave this mushroom behind? I don't want to, I, I want everything. I need, why, do I, why am I carrying so much food? <laughs> I thought I didn't have any food on me, but apparently I do have a lot of food with me. Do I want the aquamarine? The coal is very important, I can't drop that. I could drop the stone, but it's so important as well. <sighs> Magma geode. I could also sell this. <laughs> it's just a waste of money. Bye, bad, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh, there's multiple coming. Well, I made it, so whatever. Space boots! Let me put this down. Well, let me put on the new boots. Oh man, it doesn't match my outfit at all. Uh, but it's cute. Sure, I dropped the, the star. Maybe if I come here next time, it will still be there. There's always hope, guys. There's always hope. Well, I'm leaving. Bus stop. And this is actually a really good way of making money. If you are already a level 80 or higher in the mines, you can just go there every single day if you're having a lucky day and get as many things as you can and then just sell it all. So I'm gonna sell the Void Essence, the... I'm gonna see if I have enough Aquamarine. I'm gonna sell these mushrooms over here. I have the mushroom cave the other way, so it doesn't really matter to me if I keep all of this. The ruby is very valuable. And maybe I'll sell half of the gold. How much gold do I have? Mm. I'll, I'll sell this much. I'm gonna save this. I have enough amethysts. The quartz is always important. I'll, I'll keep that. And the rest, I'm gonna sell it all. Well, let me see if I can go to the mines on time to get the star, because uh, it can be worth the money. And I just... It's gone! <laughs> No! Well, I'm going to bed. N I did a check the traveling card, but I'm I'm hoping it had nothing good. We'll try on Sunday. Okay, sleepy time. Oh, level seven farming. What did I do? <laughs> I didn't farm at all yesterday. I don't know. Okay, now that's reasonable. Okay, so we made 4,000. Not bad. And now, is it a lucky day? Can I head into the mines? Because the thing with the mushroom level is that every single day goes down one level. So if yesterday was on level 109, today is gonna be a level 108 and it's gonna keep going down every single day. So, you know, if I could try my luck, they're feeling neutral. Feeling lucky, but, oh, well, you know what? That could be because they're lucky. We could go. <laughs> Maybe we could go. Where am I gonna put this bomb? We need to start working on storage though. We really do. Where's my milk pail? There it is. Hello, oh, no, Madonna. Let's go milk you. How are things over here? Another large milk. How gracious of you. Oh, is the barn upgraded? Did it work after all? Oh, by the way, let me get as much hay out as I possibly can. Because I kind of want to fill this up again. I want to harvest more, save more money. We're gonna need a lot of food for winter. Okay, it's empty. Let me just go fill up our food. Yeah, it's upgraded. I didn't even notice. Okay, Pajo. Maybe we could take some of these trees down that we have on our farm. They're kind of taking over. No, I don't want them there. Okay, we got some other crops to die. We need the eggplant for the community center, so this is great. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna need to water all of this, which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, but hello, guys. Good morning. Really excited for you to grow up. Oh gosh, I need to get rid of this grass. Nothing can stay in the way of my beautiful apple tree, but I hope it's growing. I think this is all I can get right now. Uh, let me go take down a few things over here, since I can. And my is my inventory really that full? Oh, gee. Let's work on some storage today. Oh, and I can probably take a few more down over here. 
Okay, we have in total uh, 147, which is pretty close to what we had before. Now I'm gonna water everything that I have here and I'll catch up with you guys as soon as I'm done with this. Oh, by the way, we can put something in the preserve jars. I want to later on put cranberries in there, but for now I really don't have anything to put in there. Let's see, we need the place to put our crops, so we're gonna need more chests, which kind of hurts me because we really need wood for other stuff things are starting to get really pricey over here where did i put the wheat well give me the cheese take the eye and i'm gonna start by taking uh the spring crops that i have over here oh it's over here i'm blind so the tulips are a fall crop the spring onions can be considered a uh, spring crop uh, poppies are for summer blue jazz is spring the strawberries are also for spring uh, i'm gonna leave the boots over here strawberries okay these are all the spring crops so i'm gonna put them on the chest over here for now we'll eventually move this to somewhere else i'm pretty sure i have this somewhere else in my planner so right there now we're gonna need another chest for summer oh my god it's already 140 I need to go to <laughs> I have so much else to open. Time is sticking by so fast. Um, do I have all the that I wanted to open? I guess I do. Okay, let's go. Iridium. Okay. If we keep going like this, we're gonna be able to make a bar. Marco. And this one? I think I already found that. Um, oh no, I didn't. But I did found this one, so can I sell it to you? Cool, cool. Thanks, Clint. Let's go to Gunter. Uh, let's put it down here, I guess. And we have some rewards, which I guess I can take. We have an obsidian vase. How, Andy? <laughs> uh, didn't I want to fish yesterday? I'm just looking at some plans I made some weeks ago, and I'm like... Yeah, I feel like I forgot to do something yesterday which was fishing. It's okay, I'm sure it'll rain more during the month. We have time. <laughs> Can I imagine now if it doesn't rain at all? Uh, it will, it will rain. I'm hopeful. Okay, I'm gonna need to go get more wood. So maybe, can we take down the trees that we have on this side? We can, so I will take these down. Can I take this one down? I can. Cool. So we can make another chest now. Maybe I can even head into the mines very quickly. It's not a full unlucky day, but it's not a terrible day. Maybe we could get more mushrooms, get more money for the coop upgrade. For summer, we have summer spangled poppies, star fruit, melons, all of this. And these are the only fall crops that I have, apparently. Yes, and this is for spring. Oh gee. Let me put this away. And now what am I gonna do with that chest that is now almost completely empty? This is gonna be for food related items and maybe some animal products. So anything that's animal related or that's food related is gonna go in here. Um, so this all makes sense in here except for these items. And now this should go away from here, because this is where I'm gonna put all my foraging items. On the fishing chest, uh, what happened to... Okay, I do have my recycling machine over there. Let's go use it to get a few things done. Let me get rid of the torches. Um, the tools should go in here for now. This is food. These are seeds. Food, animal products. Uh, this is also food. Okay, and now here, uh, this is a fish. These are seeds. I should plant these. Uh, refined quartz. Let me take this out. These tools as well. Uh, this is food. I should move it out. This is foraging. Um, let me... I'll leave the start over here. This goes to foraging. Oh god, but this is completely full. 
with tools and other stuff. Oh, maybe I should make another chest for all of my tools. <laughs> Oh man. Well, let me take the charcoal can and I'll put this in. This goes to this side. Because I also have all of this, these other things that I really don't have any purpose for. Okay, let me see if I can find some other trees to take down. And I guess we're not gonna go mining in this part. I can take these trees down. Okay. And we can make another chest and I'll put this one inside the house. Because I don't really need stuff that I'm gonna... Put in this chest. Maybe I could replace uh, this bear with the with the Junimo plushie. It's cuter. <laughs> uh, the bomb. The bomb should go to the other to the other stuff. Okay, this one is gonna have this, which is just random stuff that I have no place for or really any use for at the moment. So now things should be a little bit more organized and looking a little bit better. Let me get the fertilizer, because I do have some eggplant to plant. And I didn't get a chance to go and buy more seeds, so I guess this can go in here. Can I... Should I go into the mines just for a little look-see? See what's up over there. I'm gonna need food. So let me get these out. And let's see if we can find mushroom level again. There it is. Mushroom level. Oh, how much I love you. So I'm gonna try to get all the things that I can get and we'll sell them at the end of the day for profit. How beautiful. And this is all? I guess so. Okay. Not a bad haul. Okay, not now that. <laughs> Too many are coming. And I'm leaving. Let me see, do we have any rubies? Another magma geode. I'm just gonna crack these open. Coal. Hello, Shadow Brute. Not today. An emerald. Um, a sap. Don't need sap. Okay, and now we're leaving. Uh, do I have any diamonds? I actually, I'm not sure. Uh, I have one. That's enough, right? That's enough. Sure. I'll find more later on. Give me the quartz. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay. Let me sell what I have. And then we'll rush to bed and see how much money we made with these mushrooms. Okay. Oh, level 5 combat. So we can be a fighter or we can be a scout. Oh, dude, what what can I pick? <laughs> I always get caught soft guard because it's like I forget which one is the best. All attacks deal 10% more damage. I feel like the fighter is best. I'm gonna go with, feist, with fighter. Okay. N not bad, not bad. So it's day seven. I'm gonna end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next part of Let's Play, goodbye everybody.